good day viewers you welcome to my youtube channel this is kem easy and i'm echo jeremiah so today we'll be doing uh, some calculation on the quantitative analysis of tetrazo sulfate cis acid and sodium tetrazo carbonate 4. so this is just like a sample question you may likely see and uh, the link to the sample question number two and number three is in the description below so if you're done watching this one you can also do well to see or that just click on the link in the description below it will take you directly to those videos so let's go quickly into the question uh, the first question here says an is a solution of tetrazos of a cis acid why BN is a solution containing 0.05 cc mole per dm group of anhydrous sodium trouser carbonate 4 and uh, put A into the bullet, prepare 20 cm cube or 25 cm cube of B into the conical flux using methyl orange as the indicator. Repeat the titration to obtain concordant titration values. Tabulate the radius and calculate the average volume of acid used. Now from the question we have here, it says tabulate the radius and calculate the average volume of acid used, which we did in um, the titration from the first calculation from the readings we got from the titration which we have here all right so the average volume of acid use we took the two concordant value which is 20.30 and uh, 20.20 all right some of you may just go with 20.20 with 20.20 because actually they are close together all right but i'm just using this one so the average volume of acid use we have here is 20.25 which is our VA average volume of acid used to be 20.25 cm cube all right so that's how you calculate the average volume of acid used. now from the question here it says calculate the amount of sodium trouser carbonate for in the 25 cm cube of BN use all right the amount of um sodium carbonate in 25 cm cube of BN use. so these are you you calculate it all right so which is a it says concentration is equal to amount and your amount is in mole over volume of solution in dm cube all right so we are calculating we are looking for the amount now what's the concentration of bn is given to us in the question here that um bn contains 0.05 cc mole per dm cube so this is the concentration all right so um the concentration here is 0.05 cc mole per dm cube then we are looking for amount over the volume all right now the uh, our question here says um the amount of sodium carbonate in 25 cm cube so the volume is uh 25 cm cube but take note our uh, volume here is in dm cube so to convert uh dm cube to cm cube we you know one dm cube is equivalent to 1000 cm cube so you want to convert 25 cm cube is to divide with 1000 okay so we we'll have 0 0.025 dm cube all right, so here we have 0 0.025 dm cube. So our amount becomes 0 0.05 cc mole per dm cube times 0 0.025 dm cube. All right, so if you multiply these two together you have amount is equal to 0 0.001415 mole so this is the amount and now the next question here says calculate the concentration of an in mole per dm cube now um, to calculate the concentration of an you check this we already have the concentration of our BN to be 0 0.05 cc molar we have the um, the concentration we are to look for the concentration of AN which is unknown we already know the volume of AN which is the average volume of acid used to be 20.25 cm cube 
and the volume of the base, which is the sodium carbon, is the, we use 25 cm cube of, of the pipette. So we're having 25 cm cube here. And then uh, the number of moles of the acid and the number of moles of the base, you can get that from your balanced chemical equation. So if we are to look for the concentration of the acid, we have it, the reaction is between tetrazosophysis acid with sodium carbonate to give you sodium sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide gas. Okay, so the mole ratio here is one ratio one, one mole of the acid with one mole of the base. So here we have one in one. So if we use uh, this equation to look for the concentration, we have Ca Va over Cb Vb is equal to Na over Nb. All right, so we are looking for the concentration of the acid, which is Ca times the volume is 20.25 cm cube. The concentration of our base is 0 0.05 cc mole per dm cube, and the volume is 25 cm cube equal to number of moles of acid is one over one over one. So making C the subject of formula, you have 0 0.05 cc mole per dm cube, all right, times 25 cm cube over 20.25, sorry, Um, that's 20.25 cm cube. So you know this, we cancel this. So if you multiply that and divide, you have 0 0.0699 mole per dm cube as the concentration of the acid. All right, so now we'll go over to the next questions that uh, says the number of hydrogen ions per dm cube of A, all right? Number of hydrogen ions per dm cube of A. So this is how you do that first. You know, the acid, the reaction is between a strong acid and a, a basic salt. So the acid is sulfuric acid. And you know, this acid, this is a strong acid, it ionizes completely in water to give hydrogen ion and uh, sulfate an ion okay to balance the equation we have two hydrogen here so we have two here so once it ionizes completely in uh, water it gives us two molecules of hydrogen ion so now i want to calculate the number of this hydrogen ion per dm cube so now from the stoichiometry of this reaction we know one mole of sulfuric acid ionizes completely to give us two moles of hydrogen ion. Now, these are use of this. We are asked to look for the number of hydrogen ions per dm cube. First, we get the concentration. The concentration of our acid from the previous calculation is 0 0.0699 moles per dm cube. All right, so now I want to convert this one to mole because here we have one mole of sulfuric acid as one mole of the acid ionizing completely to give us two moles of hydrogen ion. So now let's convert this one to mole to check how many it how many hydrogen ions it will give us if it ionizes. So you say concentration is equal to amount over volume. All right, amount which is in mole and volume in dm cube and our concentration for the acid is 0 0.0699 mole per dm cube we are looking for the mole which is amount is unknown here and our volume per dm cube right because we are looking for the hydrogen ion per dm cube which is one year okay so when you multiply it you also have amount is equal to 0 0.0699 mole. So this is the mole. All right, so if one mole of a 
hydrogen of sulfuric acid ionizes to give us two moles of hydrogen ion then 0 0.0699 mole we ionize to give us how many hydrogen ions so we cross multiply s this times two the next times one it gives you so we have um 0 0.0699 times two so we have 0 0.1398 0 0.1398 moles of hydrogen ion but take note we are to look for the uh, number of hydrogen ions so now we know that one mole of a substance contains 6.022 times 10 raised to the power 23 atoms or particles all right then if one mole contains this then 0 0.0 sorry 0 0.1398 moles okay we contain how many particles or atoms so ions so we cross multiply s times one we have s and uh, 0 0.1398 times 6.022 times 7.3 we have um, 8.419 times 10 raised to the power 22 okay atoms ions of hydrogen being produced so that's the answer so we'll go over to the next question that says Calculate the mass of sodium ion formed in the solution during the titration. The mass of sodium ion formed in the solution during the titration. So here is how you calculate the mass of it. The mass of sodium ion formed. All right, so now from the equation there, the titration is between sulfuric acid and sodium triazocarbonate 4. All right, and if it ionizes in water, give us two moles of the sodium ion plus carbonate anion. All right, so yeah, we're having one mole of sodium carbonate ionizing to give us two moles of sodium ion all right now we want to calculate the mass of this formed in the titration to get it take note this is a mole mole relationship so now let's convert the concentration and the volume of this to mole and the concentration of the um of sodium carbonate from our calculation or from the question given is zero point 0 0.05 cc mole per dm cube and the volume of sodium trouser carbonate for we use is 25 cm cube which is the size of the pipette so now let's convert it to mole so that we can get a mole most stoichiometric relationship okay so you do that with concentration is equal to amount in mole over volume all right in dm cube so our concentration is 0 0.05 cc mole per dm cube then we're looking for the amount which is mole um then the volume is 25 we convert to dm dm cube by dividing with 1000 to get 0 0.025 dm cube all right so when you cross multiply you have amount to the mole to be 0 0.001415 mole all right so if one mole um ionizes or dissociates to form two moles of ion then 0 0.001415 mole we ionize to give us how many you cross multiply you will have um, you 
S, so S times 1 gives us S, then 0 0.001415 times 2 gives us 0 0.00283 moles of sodium ion formed. Alright, now take note, we are asked to calculate the mass formed, but here we are having moles. So convert moles of sodium to mass by using mole is equal to mass over molar mass. Alright, the mole form, the mole formed is 0 0.00285, sorry, 283, excuse me. 283 and we are looking for the mass which is unknown and uh, the molar mass of sodium is 23 grams per mole all right so now when we substitute this into the equation we have our mole to be 0 0.00283 mole is equal to we are looking for the mass over the molar mass of it which is 23 grams per mole all right so when you cross multiply mass is equal to 0 0.00283 times 23 grams when you multiply this together you have 0 0.06509 grams all right so this is the mass of sodium ion that is formed thanks you can click on the link below to watch the sample two of this question